Hey everyone, okay, so I think this is a really important video, but I realize that most of you, well, some of you probably won't care at all, but I'm gonna make it anyway. I don't know why one of my eyes looks really dark. Who can say? It's clean. Okay, so I can't tell you how many emails I get with people saying, um, this is my skincare routine, and this is what I do, and this is what I do, and it's all wonderful. But there's always one thing left out, which is, protection for your face. Everything else that you do to your skin is completely irrelevant if you don't protect your skin. And a lot of times people will say, well, the SPF in my foundation is what I use for my sun protection. I use mineral foundation. So this is a spoon. This contain, This is 1.25 mils, which is enough according to the three dermatologists I've spoken to, to do your face. They said face, not neck. So I'm gonna pour this into here to show you. That is 1.3, uh, 1.25 mils. This is what you need for your face. And I wanna show you how much it is. It is a huge amount of product to put on your skin. There is no way that you could apply this much foundation to your face in order to protect it, to get the appropriate level of sun protection. Because if you did, if you were to apply 1.25 mils to your face, each time you did it, your foundation would last you in a 30 mil bottle about 18 days. So it is, and also your face would be literally like a kabuki mask. It would be completely and utterly covered in foundation. You would have nothing. In order to get the protection we need for our skin, we need to apply sunscreen. We do not need to reapply every couple of hours unless you are purposely sitting out in the sun. Everything else, walking to the car, doing whatever, shopping, it's perfectly fine. Just apply it once, then apply your makeup over it and be done. But you can see it took a huge amount of product. Something like this would last me about three months, the size of it. Um, the sunscreens that I use are the Clinique one. My favorite one is by Drunk Elephant. That will last you, again, around about three and a half, four months. And that's my favorite one of all of them because it's really, really good finish on it. Sunscreens are really heavy by nature. Um, that's my favorite one, absolutely, without a doubt. Let me go and show you. Here it is. So this is the Umbra Sheer Physical Defense Protect and Preserve SPF 30. Um, I'm using this one up, but this is my preferred one. I use this, I've got three of these in total because I'm a massive, massive sunscreen freak after all the, you know, the moles and the scars and the stitches that I had done. So, you know, really protecting your skin. You can use all the products in the world, but none of them are gonna make a real difference unless you protect your skin after you've done all of that stuff because that's what's gonna keep it looking wonderful. Finding a sunscreen that doesn't break us out can be a nightmare. These two, including also Paula's Choice, do not break me out. Very, very good sunscreens. Don't bother getting one that says for the face because like Clinique do one for the face. It's exactly the same as the body, except you get fuck all product. So what's the point when you could just get the body one and put that on your face, which is what I do, but this is my favorite. It's not sponsored though, but it's my favorite because it's bloody amazing. And I'll see you all soon. Let me know if you use sunscreen and if you use the right amount. And in case you're wondering about the mineral foundation in terms of protection, you would need 1.25 grams to protect your skin, considering that most um, mineral foundations contain around about seven to nine grams. You would get a week out of each foundation if you were to use that amount. So use your sunscreen, put your foundations on top. See you soon, bye-bye.